talk about the benefits of sending emails and notifications with FME Server. Using an intuitive GUI to automate the flow of information, FME Server allows you to configure emails and notifications to ensure that critical information is delivered to stakeholders immediately. This can be job failure notifications to the admin group or an email with HTML content that contains links for the user to download. These are just a few examples. Ultimately, FME Server can help inform data-driven decisions by automatically delivering reports, emails, and dashboards as information changes. In a few moments, Chris will continue the demo and show you what this looks like. But first, let's see a real-life application from the California Earthquake Authority. Also known as the CEA, they are a publicly managed, privately funded nonprofit insurance company offering affordable earthquake coverage for residential properties in California. They needed to know immediately when an earthquake occurs with the potential to impact the policyholders. To do this, they use FME to monitor the Shake Map dataset email notifica notification service. And when new maps become available, their system immediately identifies if earthquakes in their coverage area are strong enough to pose significant damage. If so, the workflow extracts shaking intensity data from shape files, places it into a report, and email stakeholders, all within minutes of earthquakes being detected. In fact, the system was so fast that the source shake map couldn't keep up and they had to proactively slow FME down. The CEA used FME Cloud, which saves software fully hosts in an AWS environment, which provides time and cost savings over maintaining in-house servers. If you want to perform this kind of monitoring with spatial awareness, you can use FME to perform these actions and deliver the output wherever you like, for example, your business intelligence platform. If you'd like to learn more about emails and notifications and FME server, check out these resources for more information. So we'll just pass it back to Chris now. Awesome. So yeah, uh, we're just jumping back to that first demo and we're really just going to finish it up by adding an email external action. So very similar to adding an action, you just have to click and drag to bring it in and then connect it to whatever uh, output connection you want. So in this case, for those of you who are new to FME server, I'm actually connecting it to an FME server automations writer feature type. Now, this is very similar to running um, a workspace runner in your workspace, if you're familiar with that, where only the features that are sent to this uh, writer feature type will be sent to the external action. This can also be configured to run only if there's a failure of the workspace or on completion or su success of the workspace as well. So let's go ahead and configure the email external action. You'll see that there's a number of external actions in this list as well. In this example, we're just going to be sending an email. So we can load a template from any of the popular um, services. We're going to use Gmail in this case. Connect it to our email, enter in the credentials, and then set who you're going to send it to. Now, you can type the email address directly in here, or if you have this information in the workspace in the form of attributes, you can actually access this from the FME Server Automation's writer feature type. So you'll see in this drop down there's the workspace, failed validation email. These are all my attributes coming from that writer feature type. So I know that the email I want to send it to is in this notify attribute. So I'll send the email from is the same email address email subject again I have this set in the workspace so I will actually pull this from that attribute which is the subject the email format is HTML and the body again is coming from that workspace let's connect it there once you've done that you can go ahead and validate it and if we scroll up to the top we'll see that all these email um, parameters are valid it's connecting with the correct ad email address and password so we'll go ahead and apply this so we can start this automation. I don't want to save that right now. And this is just running that exact same automation from the first, uh, first example. So we'll go ahead and drag and drop our bad data into this submissions folder, wait the 10 seconds and let this run. And then in just a, just a moment, we'll see that an email will appear and I'll switch over to my uh, inbox. And while this is going, um, we'll actually scroll down in the email section. And you'll notice that there's also an email attachment section here as well. So you can have um, files attached to these emails. At the moment, you can only have a single file. So if you wanted to have multiple files bundled into a single email, you just simply have to zip it and then attach it to that email attachment. So I see that the one has appeared and lo and behold, our results are in. The submission has failed the QA. So we know that at um, this is at the server time. So this is actually 336. Files are submitted and failed the workspace in our automation. 
please review these and update the database as soon as you can. This is a quick example of how you can complete the automation by adding an email external action.